it's it's a weird one. They they've gotten quite creative with their commander designs as of late. This guy is like the this guy was released only about six months ago. Oh, that new. Yeah. He's he's a paid commander, so. So what what I eventually intend to do on the co-op side is that once we level your Artanis up to a reasonable degree, maybe level 7, we can start attempting these mutations. Did you go back to the menu already? Uh, I'm still in the menu, yeah. Of course I'm in the mutator selection screen still. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm in the mutator selection screen, correct. That's the menu. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Enemy units set the turret on fire upon there. Yeah, how many are there? The page, That's... the last page has... It's eight. 15 per so... page, right? Uh, yeah, so that's 30, 30 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's 38 mutators right now. 20, 38? I thought it was 53. Wait, 3 times 15 is 45 plus 8. Yeah! Oh yeah, it's 15 dead times. Wait. Yeah, so it's 45. Yeah, they're, they're more than that. My goodness, that's a lot of mutators. So you could have as many as you as the system will allow, although um, it's warned that if you have too many mutators, your game might lag. Ah, uh, too many things happening at once. Yeah, so this is a general overview on the mutation system in the co-op mode. And it's this is honestly for people who have already maxed out their commanders. I see. Because it will be extraordinarily difficult until then. Hey, there's someone. There's a mutator called Heroes of the Storm. Yes, Attack yes, there is. That's one of the hardest. Heroes of increasing power. Oh wow! Oh, that is crazy. In fact, this one is a special one. This one was a community designed mutator. Oh, that's cute. They opened a contest to say that we're we're opening to ideas. Whoever wins gets. I, think, I don't know how much money it was. And this won the contest. Eventually we'll we'll eventually we'll get to this and eventually I will show you that, but it is it is tough. Okay. It took me almost two dozen tries to complete that particular mutator. Wait, it just that mutator on, nothing else. Yes. Jeez, wow, that Normally you could normally it's true, normally there are like two or three mutators running. But that one was just one mutator, and my gosh, it was hard. Oh, Vertigo must be so annoying. Your camera randomly changes positions. Yeah, they had that once and never again. <laughs> Speed Freaks is also dangerous because their attack waves, like the baseline attack waves, move a lot faster. Like the 10 20 seconds difference between arriving at your base can be the can be the difference between winning and losing on the spot. I see. Okay, but honestly, we're not gonna get into this into this lesson because it makes more sense to play like just co-op on hard as opposed to jumping into mutators and then dying miserably. Ha! Huh, microtransactions is so cute. That's a. Oh, if you're playing as Zug, you're screwed. You have to micro a lot. Yeah, because you give an order to like 20 Zerglings and they all cost you like 1 mineral, that snap figures 20 minerals gone. Doesn't that apply to everybody though? Or does Zerg just have more like units? Zerg has more units than everybody else. That's that's the nature of the swarm. Some of the other commanders are more, they have more hero units so they don't rely on as many like raw numbers. Wow, random abilities, my goodness. That's what I'm telling you about. The one I was telling you about was a uh, propagators, which is on the last page. Yeah, I saw. Wow, well, touch anything it eh? anything it touches turns to itself or something like that. Is the... there any fun mutators like skulls? Uh no, I haven't seen one. Defied fun. Like 
helps you? Uh, not really. Most of these are to hinder your progress to make the game harder. Uh, uh, but here's the thing. The way it makes the game harder is in different ways. It's not just the enemy getting outright buffs, especially if you combine certain mutators. Yeah, this one is very okay, cool. The one that, the one that, that um, is the closest to completely changing the nature of the game is something called... What is this? Okay, Slim Pickings. It's on the second page. Oh, found it. Player workers unit gather is a reduced rate, but resource pick up spawn throughout the map. Oh! Uh, that is one of the most well balanced mutators because I've actually tried this in early game. If you micro your units and you send them out to go and like gather the mineral spawns, you can uh -huh. actually end up collecting more minerals and more and more gas than you would like just playing a standard game. Uh, don't they have to come back to your nexus to no, no, deposit no, no, no. it though? Or uh, don't? Pick up spawns is once you touch it, you get it. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So I that see. one is a bit more balanced in that in that sense. Ooh. Of course, there was an actual mutator in the weekly rotation that was Slim Pickings and Blizzard, which is also on this page. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That, that's kind of balanced, I guess. Yeah, so very often... Like the more balanced mutators you see in the week, in the weekly rotation, those are have sort of been tested, and those are there because it changes the way you play, as opposed to outright just making the enemy harder. Shall we jump into something? Yes, we should. So I think if we click menu, we can uh, quit. Okay, let's. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, so end the game. Okay, so first things first, I'll set up a... I'll do a custom game and then I'll let you decide where you want to go from there. Okay, sure. You could go up uh, 1v1 against... We can actually just do the same thing as we did last week. 1v1, I do a 1v1, you do a 1v1, then we do a co-op. We could also start the lessons on either Terran or Zerg if you so choose. Okay. As a point... As a final point, I would normally suggest putting co-op towards the end because it's too easy to get lost in co-op. What do you mean lost? It's very, very tempting to play like two or three co-op games and in the end you, you don't ladder, you don't do the 1v1, you don't build on your foundations if you will. I see. So co-op now, like me personally, I tend to put that at the, at the back. <clears throat> like after I finish a few ladder games, then I play like one or two games of co-op. I mean, I, I still believe in the idea of, uh, wait, uh, mix, referee, AI, Terran. Oh, by the way, can you see the difficulty of the, of the AI? It's easy right now. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, how do I promote to lobby host? Okay, now you can see the difficulty levels. Uh, can you click on the drop down tab? Yeah, Cheater, these, these are one, the... two, three. Okay, set it to elite. Uh, elite. There we go. Okay, okay. Question. So after this, do you still intend to play Protoss? Because if you intend to start learning Terran or Zerg, I might as well play Terran or Zerg. Um, that's that's a tricky one. Should I just continue learning Protoss, or should I just understand how Terran works? You tell me. Maybe let's just. Uh, Terran, I guess. Let's just go with Terran. Oh, so we learn Terran after this. Oh, after this? Or uh, are you going to play Protoss now? No, no, no. I will play... Oh, no, I will play Terran if we're going to start the Terran learning process after this. And then you can set the AI to, to random. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's learn Terran. Okay. So I'm going to switch to Terran, which is my main race. And you can set the Team 2 AI to random. Okay. Then you can start when ready. I'll be doing commentary on what I'm doing. Uh, ready? But... Yep, let's go. What is the handicap? Oh, that means making them weaker, I see. Okay. Terran! Finally back to Terran. <coughs> Was Terran the first race you learned? No, I actually learned Protoss. I actually chose Protoss. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I actually chose Protoss at the beginning because I thought Psionic Storm was cool and it still is, but yeah, playing on land is a different story. Yes, you were asking? Uh, what made you uh, choose Terran as your main? Uh, honestly, and this is something I learned... Okay, th I picked it initially because it was easier to learn build orders and easier to execute build orders. I learned much, much later, like two years later, that that is actually the true strength of, of Terran. Terran is a more... Terran and Zerg are more uh, mechanically nice. demanding than Protoss. But that is offset by other things. Like, Protoss has much stronger spell casters, but you have to cast your spells. You don't cast your spells, you just die. Okay. So we're going to Everdream because this is this will probably be our training map. Good luck and have fun. Okay. Okay, so... Here we go. First thing I'm going to do is make an SCV as per normal. Now, the difference between Terran buildings and um, everybody else is that unlike Protoss, the worker has to actually stay at the building and build it. So you can see oh. the SCV is still there. Same thing for gas. So I'm going to get gas. I'm just going to continue SCV production. Wait, what's that? Supply Depot? Yes. This is the... This is the equivalent of the pylon. Oh. But Terra does not require... Terra does not require um, a psionic grid. So I could put the... I could build the next building literally wherever I want. But I build it right beside the depot for a very, very specific reason, which is I need to... And maybe if you will, I need to build a wall. Because... Uh -huh. Okay, so... so okay. What let is me, this barracks? Let me demonstrate something. If I build another supply depot here, this is a wall. Zuglings cannot get up, up this ramp. And I'm oh, playing against completely the... cannot. No, supply depots and the buildings are in the way. Oh. Wait, you just destroyed something. Yeah, I just cancelled it. You can cancel a building building at any time. You get refunded full? Uh, you get a 75% refund. Not too bad, eh? Even if it gets damaged? Yes. Oh, okay. But if it gets destroyed, no refund for you. Boo-hoo. Okay, so I'll I'll give you a choice. There are two main styles of playing Terran, Mech and Bio. Uh, which one do you want me to go for? Which one is the more common one? I would like to see what Bio. is a common strategy. Okay. To be able to learn how to counter against it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so something I'm doing at the same time is that notice that something's happening to my main building. Yeah? <coughs> is yeah. there something happening? I see it opening. Yes. So I'm getting what is called an orbital command because this allows you to do... This uh, This gives you three abilities, but the most important one is to drop mules. Oh, So do you see mechanical. a yellow robot uh, mining in the middle yep. line? Yeah, that allows you to mine yep. a lot faster than an SCV, but it's on a timer. Oh, it's on timer. Yeah. yeah. On the other side of the map... You oh yeah, I can see a grey bar. Yeah, so... Okay. So I've got something called a Reaper. So what a Reaper does is that... It's a light harassment unit. Notice how fast it is. It can Where also throw it? grenades down. So Reapers are mostly used in Terran early game. To either do worker damage. Or more importantly to scout. Where is your Reaper? Over here. Oh! I didn't even notice he's there. Correct. So the thing about Reaper is that it can jump up and down cliffs. Ow. Ugling. Yep, so we're gonna get the heck out of here. Uh -huh. And in the meantime, I'm gonna try my darn best to macro. So I've gotten another command center on the low ground. I'm getting the, the orbital for oh. that. I just lost the Reaper and the scouting SCV. Which is bad. Like, if I had my code correctly, I could have prevented that from happening. Wait, what's, what's Omnid really? Oh, the Reaper. Wait, no, SCV. What? What's SCV stand for? Uh, Space Construction Vehicle. Your command center it's actually a suit. Complete. Like, if you zoom in on it, it's actually a guy in a gigantic suit. Add on. Complete. Okay, so I'm getting two two barracks because I'm going to continue my uh, marine production. So this is what is called standard bio. 
What bio? Yeah, it's called bio because you go for a lot of biological units, aka infantry. I see. Oh, 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 okay. okay. The other style, the other uh, style is called mech. And what that is, is that you go for more tanks and cars and mechanized units, as the name implies. More oh, expensive, but more damage, I'm assuming? Yes. Well, that's slower. Yeah, oh, that's the big part. Slower, more importantly, they're more gas intensive. Oh. They're far more gas intensive than going for um, what what is called standard bio. So the other thing about uh, Terran buildings is that they can fly. Ah. Some of them okay. can. Okay. So that allows you to reposition. Are you the using building. it to build the wall again? Uh, not right now because I'm going. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a very very standard two one one drop. What that means is that, oh, you'll see. Uh, we need more supply depots. The other thing about supply depots which are very useful is that they can open and close. So you can literally open and close your walls. Uh, I don't know if you caught that. Okay, so right now on the other side of the map, I have three marines out there simply to act as sentries. Oh yeah, I just realized them. LOL. So the drop is going to head out. The medivacs have left the base. Their primary job is to do harassment damage. Medivac? Yes. So this is a building that... Uh, not, not a building, this is a unit that... Well, it, it flies obviously. At the same time, getting a tank, I've gotten a... Oh crap, I didn't get my liberator, never mind. Okay, so I'm gonna... So here's oh my. How bad is it? Okay, no, the enemy army is retreating, so we are Oh, what did you just do? Is that a recon? No, that's a, yeah, that's like a recon. But look at the main base. I am doing a commando raid into their base. Oh, oh, the medivax can heal as well. Oh, that's yep. disgusting. Okay, the enemy army is now headed back, so I know how long I have before I can run the heck away, which is right about now. So technically, oh. I've taken zero losses, and wow. at the same time... Oh my. Then we continue to drop. Oh, some of your guys are still there. I do Wait, not believe it, I do not believe in no man left behind. So if I don't micro correctly and somebody gets left behind, I'd rather lose him than the entire meta back. Mineral field depleted. So fast, mineral field depleted. Yep. Base is under attack. Uh oh. Uh huh, nothing really happened over here. Okay, so if you notice, if you look at the enemy main base now, you notice that I've actually got something flying in right now? Uh, yep. Yep, that's a Liberator. So I'm gonna do a multi prog attack. The Liberator will go and attack the, the main middle line. I'm gonna attack the natural. Additional supply depot. So the whole goal of this is to try and hamper the Zerg economy as much as you can. What is your Liberator doing? He's just there. So what Liberators are, are that their siege units, anything that goes into the circle will get shot at. Ah, okay, cool. When you say shot at, you mean like pew pew or boom boom? Uh, very strong pew pew. What the heck are these guys doing? Don't worry, this will force the enemy to react to me. And hopefully uh, you'll get to see a shot. Ah, very big pew pew. Yep, so what this Liberator does, it does a very high single target damage. It only shoots one. Yeah. Shot at a time. Oh shit. Oh, oh what? Oh no, what is that? Enemy spellcasters. Oh, Zerg has spellcasters as well. Nice. Oh, everybody has spellcasters. So I'm doing my best to macro as well. So if you look at home, I, while I did all that, I also built up another army. Oh. oh macro is doing multiple things at once. Micro is moving a specific group of units at once. Yep. Oh, 
Marines are strong. What the hell? They are strong, but you saw the fuck. You saw that spellcaster that landed on their heads. It killed almost all of them. It, it more of destroyed your medivac. Your guys didn't really take much damage. Oh, they took a lot of damage. Oh, the liberator's still here. Okay, let's let's be fair to the enemy and let's move the liberator away. Uh. Okay, so I need to send my SCVs over to the new base. I am floating a lot of minerals. When I say floating, I mean I currently have a lot of minerals that I'm not spending, which is bad. I see. The idea is that you want to be as efficient as you can with your minerals because there's no point having lots and lots of minerals like in reserve. The minerals have up and gone. You want a piece of me, boy? Okay, so now I'm gonna A2 my army and I'm gonna just head across the map and end this because my upgrades are complete. Like, notice during all that, I also built like my upgrade buildings. Okay, where's that original better back? Okay, there it is. Okay, so if I had been a better player, which let's be honest, I'm not that good. Okay, wait, wait, I need to do this correctly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm assuming your marines don't get healed when they're in the medivac? Nope. Ah, uh, fair enough. Where the heck are my extra factories? There they are. Go, go, go. Hey. Okay, so now it's time for me to move out and end the game. So what I'm doing is that, notice that the medivac drop is up here. Where's my main army is moving out through the center. So your medivac are to flank? Flank? No. Well, not really. So what Terran has is that once you have orbital commands, you can scan ahead. So I know the enemy army is here. Ah, oh, do they know that you're scanning? Yeah, they, they, they can see that. So what I'm going to oh, do is okay. I'm going to pre-split my tanks. And I'm going to begin the siege. I'm going to do a slow push into their natural base. Hey, that's a lot of Marines, wow. And notice that while all this is happening, the drop has gone into the next base. Yeah. Oh wow. This is elite. Eh? Yeah. Oh. I play Terra. Oh, okay, so the siege continues. The Liberators move forward. They provide. Um, I believe you guys in the army call it cover fire. Okay, the Medivax, the hit squad is now going to go into the bait because I want to keep my enemy as distracted as I can. I'm going to siege the natural. AK the second base down here, while the hit squad does damage to the main. At the same time, I'm still producing tanks, I'm still producing um, infantry, I'm still producing as much as I can. I'm building another base at this second. I'm getting the next round of upgrades. Uh, do, do they have a base over here? Nope, okay. The AI should GG real soon. Uh, I have no idea what the AI is doing. His uh, supplies are always so low, but he doesn't seem to be doing anything. Well, there was a point. I'll need to look at the replay to know the specifics, but. Yep, GG. Uh, and they're out of here. Damn. They did not do a single thing. <laughs> no, Correct. See, yes and no. The thing about. Um, okay, so apart from the AI being slightly less aggressive than people on the ladder. The thing about Terran is that I did a lot of things to prevent the AI from doing things. I did that early drop uh. to kill workers because if I kill their workers, they are going to be forced to remake workers rather than making army to attack. I see. It's about doing all these moves to try and... Like, that's the thing about Terran. You have to be proactive. You can't just sit back. You have to go out there. You have to do drops. You have to do worker damage. You have to do all these other things. So now we're gonna go into the basics of Terran. Let's see, co op and Archon, you and me against an AI. Okay, I'm gonna have it, I'm, I'm gonna set a baseline that when you learn a new race, I'll set it as easy. Okay. Once you, once you can beat an easy AI, then we can up it to medium. So if you were still playing Protoss, you'll be going up against medium Protoss. I see. If you beat medium Protoss, to hard. If you can't beat hard Protoss, we stay on hard. Okay, fair enough. But, Sounds good. Okay, at this time we're gonna do Archon, which what that means is that I will also have control of your army. 
you know, to help you defend and stuff. Okay. Oh, so I'm the main one now? <laughs> uh, okay, so what Alcon means is that both of us command the same army at the same base. Remember lesson one? Yep. But will I be just watching you do most of the stuff or no, will I be like... No, you'll some... be doing it. I'll be the one doing most of the watching. Ah, okay. So, what we'll generally be doing right at, right at the get-go, which is right about now, is that you'll be doing the base. So, first thing you want to do is you want to build an SCV. Or build a uh, refinery? Yes, refinery. No, build the SCV first. Oh, shit. Never mind, let, let the refinery SCV. build. Click the main building. No, click the main building and produce huh? an SCV. It made my terminology was trade SCV. That's, that's the... Ah, uh, okay. How many? Uh... You want to try to do it one at a time because if you trade five, you're going to spend all your middles. So just try and build one at a time. Yep. Okay, so grab an SCV and build a supply depot. Preferably like how I did it. At the wall. Okay. So you click on the guy, then you press B and then you press S. Okay, it's good. There we go. Okay. Are these two guys not doing anything? Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, okay, by the way, if you click on your command center and then you just click on... Yeah, so now they'll automatically go and mine minerals. Okay, so get another guy to gas. Continue SCV production. Okay, then get another SCV and make a bax. Build a bax, which is B and then B again. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. We can reposition the barracks later. Oh. Remember, they can fly. Ready. Okay, so supply depot basically just means... Ah, okay. It just means I can have more units? Yep. <laughs> it's like Protoss. If you don't have enough uh, pylons, you can't produce more units. And you just die in a fight. Okay, the next thing you do is you get an SCV and you build uh, another base down on the low ground, somewhere around here. So this building. Yep. Oh, by the way, a thing about Terran. You know what? Uh, is the SCV dead? No. Let's let's wait. Let's 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 do something more interesting. No 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 no. Build the base inside your main base. What? Okay. Trust me. Just build a main base. Yeah, build another command center anywhere. In the main base? Yeah. Okay. Now for the barracks, uh, click click the barracks and then press L. L. Yes. Oh. Okay. And now land it properly. Where do I put it? Uh, you want to try and put it like beside the supply depot. Here, let me, let me make life a bit. I'm gonna build another supply depot at the bottom. You build the barracks. Um, it, it, it could fit in that space. Like this is something important about StarCraft 2 and this is in their map making. Oh, you have to press L again. Yep, perfect. Okay, it's landed. Oh. Like this is key because this is the only thing that allows you to survive against Zergling rushes. Oh, to, to wall them off. Yeah, because the Zerglings will be stuck on this ramp, your Marines will be, your your everybody else will be behind the wall shooting at them. If the wall is down for whatever reason and the Zerglings get on top of the of the infantry, the game literally just ends. <laughs> wow, really? Yes. I would like to see what happens when that happens. You want to watch my replays? That has happened to me. Oh, well. I would love to see what a Zerg rush can do. I'm very intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Oh, you'll get your chance. Okay, never mind. Okay, so, so let's go back to the second base you built. Press L. Uh-huh. I just fly over. Oh my god, the command center can fly. Oh yes. wow. Okay, what's up? Where do I go? Yep, here is the most optimal place. So the reason I wanted you to build it in base is apart from this demonstration, this is considered a safety build. Because unlike the other races, because you can build it inside your main base, even if you're being rushed, you can still like have another base up and running. Then once the attack subsides, you just float it over. Ah. 
So the other thing you need to do is you need to go to both of your buildings and you need to press B. Upgrade to orbital command. Yes. Unlocking scanner sweep call down mill. Why do I have to upgrade for two buildings? I can't just have it for one? No, upgrade both buildings. Okay, here's why. Because all of these things require energy. And the energy is counted separately for each building. So having two uh, orbital commands means you have twice the energy. I see. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple other moves. Okay, so what I'm doing for you right now is that... Ah, okay, the orbital command is ready. Uh, okay, you notice that it's got three options. E, X, and C, right? Yep. Okay. Let's do C first. Go over to the enemy base over here. Press C and then press it again. Okay, so this is oh, scan. Wow. This allows you to like scan anywhere on the map for energy, and for a period of time you see what the enemy is doing. Got something for me to kill. Okay, give me a second. I need to check what the enemy is actually doing so we don't. We okay, we're alive. Nice. Okay, so the other thing that you do is it's E. So if you press E and you aim it at the middle of patch, and then you fire it. Yeah, so I use the this one. The E button. E. All new. Yep. So this thing will help you mine for a lot faster than SCVs. <coughs> Add -on. Complete. Uh. A Reapers are Marauder. Heavy Assault Infantry Yep So these are the base tavern units Generally you only use A and D The Reaper is only used in early game for basically scouting and for a couple of cheeses um, Oh by the way, when, when you build a new base you have to tell the new base where to set the SCVs So go to your second base and tell it to rally the SCVs into the middle line If not everyone else you have to manually send it in Ah, uh, okay. I also bought you a tag. Oh, wow. I did not see that. Okay. Uh, okay, so a bit of diversion. Do you want me to explain the tag or do you want me to explain the infantry first? Uh, infantry will be good, I guess. Okay. So what we're doing right now is you're producing marines. Um, they're, they're the unit you saw do a hell lot of damage earlier. They are unique in the sense that... We have a move out. Hold on. I need to go into, into defensive mode. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make sure we do not die. Our SCVs are under attack. I'm very certain we have an enemy move out. Go, go, go. Oh my. More shoebox depot thingies needed. Siege tank. There's the enemy. That's it? That's the enemy? Yep. So we'll let artillery destroy them. Oh my god. That was quite insane. Yep. So that was a wonderful demonstration of what the tank does. But since we're talking about infantry, so the thing about the Marine is that it's the baseline standard terror unit. It can shoot anything on the ground or on the air. But it doesn't have a lot of health. So the so do you see this poor marine over here? Yeah. That's Insta all. Insta kill. Yep. So the wow. weakness of the marines is that we're gonna sacrifice more of these poor souls. the The problem with the marines is that if you clump them up together, and they walk into attack line. Oh, what? That was one shot. Uh, th those were two shots because they're two tanks. But if you want another wow. demonstration. Wow. That is a real world application of artillery. Damn. But otherwise, they're good because they're fairly cheap. It's only 50 minerals a piece. Uh, and they do quite a substantial amount of damage. They do quite a fair amount of damage. More importantly, they shoot relatively fast. So, as you saw in the previous game, a bunch of marines can just like shred through stuff. In fact, a bunch of marines. Mobile Assault Vehicle can use Lock-On to quickly... Ah, you're reading about the Cyclone? 
So the thing about Marines is that in large numbers, and if they can get onto their target like the tank, they will shred it. The question is, can it reach the tank? Sorry? Oh, what again? Um, the Marines in large numbers, because here's the thing, they're very easy to amass. They will shred the tank. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say this tank over here, as an example. Watch. Oh. Wow. I'm yep. assuming a siege tank can only fire when it's sieged. No. Okay, so here's the oh, interesting. Fire as well. Yeah. So here's the thing about the siege tank. Okay. So let's move on to our, to armor artillery and let me send out scouts so that we don't die to the next attack. Um. Okay, so the thing about the Siege Tank is that it's got two modes. In fact, you know what? I'll let you control this here Siege Tank. Okay. So if you fire it right now, it will do single target damage. Yep. But if you press E, it will go into Siege Mode. So here's the thing. It can't move while in this mode. But the range is much higher? The range is much higher. More importantly, it does splash damage. Uh, so if you shoot, let's say this marine here, in, in your current uh, mobile mode, it will only attack him. It will not attack... Uh, you Wait, what did I just do? Oh god. You have to press A and then click him. Because he's an ally. He's your oh, man. Okay. But if you go into siege mode, yeah, so it's only him. Like these other two guys standing right beside... Go ahead, shoot that same marine again. Let me, let me see what's the range on this thing. Sure. Like only so that's the it. range. Yep. So, but if I deploy, I don't you see a circle around them? Yeah, what you click oh, the guy, you see. Oh wow, it. that is much larger. Yep. Go ahead, shoot the same poor bugger. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So it does area yep. of effect damage. So if you have a ball of marines like what you saw when the enemy tried to attack us, and you have siege tanks in place, they are yes. just gonna get shredded. But remember, trade off. You can't move. You have to. You have to manually move them again. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Where is the building for air? I want to see what the medic bag does. Ah, we haven't built that yet. So click on any SCV, and then press V, and then press S. S. Yes. Supply depot. No, you have to press V. Oh, press V first. Yep. V is for what? Air units uh, no. or just more interesting stuff? No. Oops, I blew up something. Ah, pot. Yeah. So to answer that question quickly, uh, the way StarCraft is for all three races is that um, your B button is for your basic buildings. V is for advanced tech structures. I see. So here's the thing. Oh, tech you, structures. Correct. You cannot... Eh, I think we'll be fine. See how the tanks, see the tanks doing its job? Oh. And the marine is shooting that thing in the air. Oh no, it's gonna run away. It doesn't matter. We'll get it later. So for example, you can't build a factory without a barracks. You cannot build a starport without a factory. Factory? What's a factory? Where is the factory? Oh, it's over here. So factory, you, you must have a factory to build a starport? Yes. Durable support flyer loaded with strong anti-capital air missiles. Yep. Oh, okay. Viking. Ready back. Uh, before you start that, I do want to touch on something interesting. You notice that you have four barracks on the on the field. Yep. Okay. Uh, the ones with this valve thing is called reactors. So if you click on it, you can make two marines at the same time. So press A twice. A twice. Yeah. On the buildings with the valve, these. Oh. Okay. Whereas if you go to the tech labs, this one, you can only build one marine at a time, but you can also build the marauders. Yeah. So the reactor, I don't understand. Wait. Okay. So oh, what? so with the reactor, I can't build marauders. No. <laughs> oh. Basically, basically, here's the trade-off for the barracks. If you get a reactor, you can produce, and this goes for all of the, this goes for the factory at the starport as well. You can build more of the basic units, but you lose yeah. access to the higher tech units. Oh, okay. And as an additional point, 
if you click, if you actually click this thing, you can get some upgrades. Yeah. So Combat it, shields, research stim pack. Correct. So this is a big part of uh, Terran because you have to decide how many reactors do you want, how many tech labs do you want. Because this greatly limits your, your production capabilities. They make a bunch of tags. Okay. So coming back to the Medivact. Okay. Let's let, let me show you something else interesting about Terran. Okay. Do you see this barracks over here? The minerals have up and down. Uh, lift it up. Fly the starport in. This barrack. Yep. Lift it up. Tell it to take off. Do. Mineral field okay. Depleted. Fly in the starport and land it on the same spot. Right? No, no, aim, aim, aim higher. You want to land it on this thing. On which thing? You want to land it here. Yeah. Yep. So here's the thing. All of these things are interchangeable. See, it just came back online. Now you can produce two medivacs at the same time, as opposed to one. Oh. <laughs> so you could do this for the factory as well. Like, you could trade it out. Like, you could lift up the factory, fly a barracks over, and send the factory to a reactor. Oh. Like, switching... Wait, so you lose the siege tank? Because I see the siege tank is the one on the right side. Correct. So, if you're... So, for the factory, if you're in... if it has a reactor add-on, you could only build Hellions and Widow Mines. You can't build oh, the rest of the stuff. But you build two at a time, so trade off. See. <laughs> okay, so your medivacs are ready. Let's do something a bit more fun. Uh, let's go attack the enemy, and this is how I recommend you do it. Let me pull this force away. How do I? Oh, oh wait, the enemy's here. Never mind. Oh, marauders are bio units. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so here's the other thing about the medevac. Um, how do I want to demonstrate this? Oh, by the way, a, a, a big issue of siege tanks is that they can actually get, get stuck. stuck. Yeah, they, they'll actually get like traffic jammed on each other in certain choke points. Uh, okay, so let me show you something really cool about the, the medevac. It's also a dropship. So if you click, let's say, two of the tanks and you then click the medevac, it will load it into the medevac. Oh, it can load tanks as well? That's wow. It can load almost anything. Now, the other medevac... Oh, but, if... but tanks take up four population, so Correct. you can only load up. Correct. So so take the rest ah. of your of your bio units here and load it into the other medevac. Oh. No, is it load the tank and the bio into the next medevac? It doesn't matter. Just load up the two medevacs one way or the other. Oh, okay. So... Okay. okay, good enough. Double click the better vex and then send them across the map. Why is there only one Why is there only one moving? Yeah. Okay. I would suggest you send them here because you don't want to send your transport ships into the enemy front line. By the way, the other thing about the better vex is that they have a boost ability, so if you have both of them, you press B. Temporary oh, there speed go. boost. Okay, okay. So it's D to unload. So go over here and then unload them. You can press D and then unload. Wait, they load in siege formation already? No, 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 no. I manually siege one up so that this oh. does maximum damage. So this is very very common in all in all matches against Terran where you can try to like drop into the enemy bases and start wreaking havoc. Wow. You, these are basically commando raids. Okay. Uh, if it's getting too hot, you can load them back up in the medevacs and get the hell out of here. Or if you want to win the fight, you can just win the fight. Yeah. So when I played against the elite Zerg, I just loaded it up and got the heck out of there. These are raids. 
Wow. Very good. You're moving your artillery forward. So, so there is a legitimate strategy in Terran games where you load like four to four to eight medevacs and you just drop into the enemy main. The minerals have up it's down. called the doom drop. I didn't even. Yep. Okay, so this is, um, I guess you could say a basic overview of Terran. Uh, tell you what. So, but the other thing is that you notice that you have to micro because right now we're not making anything back at home. We're not doing a lot of our macro. It's very, very easy to get lost in like these little fights and neglect uh, what's what's happening at home. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, this is the base overview of Terran. This is the bio. This is one biotech path. When you get medevacs, there's a whole lot of other things like battle cruisers, cyclone stores. There's, there's a unit called the Thor. Um, what more do you want to do? Um, what are the wait? What what's the other flag? Oh, Vikings. What do they do? Ah. Okay, let's make some Vikings. Okay, so. Vikings are the Terrans made. Actually, you can ignore the drop because it's either going to die, but it's going to take out so many enemies that it's worthwhile. Um, another thing I'm going to do for you is I'm going to float this other command center I built over to the next over to the next base, and I will float your main over as well because your main is right our middles. Oh shit. Okay, so here's oh my the Vikings. So cool. Yep. Okay, yep. Viking. Assault mode. In this mode, Viking Oma move on the ground and can only. Oh! Okay, so let me show you a couple things and another very important part about Terran. So the Vikings are the main air to air of. Well, not say main, they're the main air to air. So they can shoot out other air units like other Vikings. But they can also land. So if you click on the Viking and press D. Uh, is the right. Vespin geyser exhausted. Press D. Ooh. Now they attack ground. But when they're in air, they can only attack air? Eh? Yep. It's a little oh, okay. mode. Go ahead. So Vikings are pretty important because... Okay, here's the other thing about the siege tank. Hold on, hold on. Let me control the Vikings a second. Oh, sure. Okay. If you click on this siege tank, you notice that the range of the siege tank, like its vision, yeah. is not, um, doesn't have the full range, like the white lines are further than the vision. E Wait, which tank am I looking at? This one. Oh, okay. okay notice that if you click on it, the, the, the area that it can see is less than the range it can shoot. This reflects real-world artillery. Because artillery you can shoot further than you can see. True. What is very common in a few matchups, especially Terran against Terran, is that you'll use the Vikings as spotters. Yes, indeed. Oh, cool. You'll fly it over and literally the tanks will then artillery strike the positions. Damn. Now, another important thing about all mechanical units in Terran is that you can use your SCVs to repair. So, okay, notice... Oh. Oh! Yeah. The button is R. Uh, I can't... This tank is already at full health. Okay, okay you can do that. R. Notice that they're repairing the tank. Oh. And this is a big deal because it's in very close fights. You can pull SCVs and repair your tanks. And the tanks get off the extra two shots you need to win. It can also repair the Viking. And it's down, obviously. Oh! No. no. Damn, it actually died. Yeah, because... Okay, so, so so here's the tricky thing. Uh, there are a lot of different... Repair itself is a very interesting mechanic. Because if a unit goes up to full health, the SCVs will stop repairing it because the damn job done. Oh! So, oh, okay, I get it. It yeah. stopped repairing. Furthermore, if you tell the SCVs to stop, it will stop repairing as well. 
Now, ah. now there's a very dangerous thing that if you go to the repair and you right click, it will go into auto repair. So it will automatically right. repair uh, units. What do you mean? Okay, if you go to the SCV, let's say this. Yep. Okay, yeah, good, good. You're controlling them. You do you, okay? Do you see the R button? If you right click it, not left. Right, right click the, the the repair button. See auto oh. repair. Ah. And and you can repair things in the sky. So watch. See, it'll repair the Viking even if even if it's in airborne mode. But the thing is that the surface area is a lot less. It and even you. though it, yeah. So this is a very very dangerous thing because sometimes you do not want them on auto repair. Why they cluster up, and this happens. Ah. Uh... Whereas manual repair, you have a lot more like micro ability. Here's the other interesting thing: the SCVs themselves are mechanical units, so they can repair themselves. Oh. That's very badass. So the Terran <laughs> has that over Protoss and Zerg. Yep. Of course, Protoss has its own advantages, like you can warp it anywhere on the map. Protoss has Storm. Protoss has, like, the boost ability. So, that's the thing. Each race is a carefully, carefully designed standing army, and they're all asymmetrical. So nothing perfectly counters, like, something else and even if that was the case there's still the other race to worry about so that's why there's only three races huh? well that's it was designed that way Warcraft has four races oh really yep Warcraft 3 rather has four races each with their own like asymmetrical like for example a Protoss can just build a building and then the worker can leave to go and do something else here the guy has to stay So Tarot has mules, Tarot has scan. Uh, just to touch on the last ability, Tarot also has something called... Um, Extra supplies. Yeah, so if you go to a supply depot and you press that... Go ahead, try. Or rather, so I'm pressing X. Press X and then... There we go, call out supply. So this gives your supply depot an extra... I think it's 20 supply? Of manpower, right? Yeah. This can be really critical in fights because if you don't have to supply and you need those units now, it's better to use the energy than to die. <laughs> because once you supply block, your, your, all your buildings will stop building um, units. That's the difference between victory and defeat. Mm -hmm. Base uh, is under attack. Oh, they're trying again. Is it? Oh. Uh, do you want to try to take care of this army? Oh. Uh. You should not see your tanks. Oh, shit. Siege your tanks. Tanks need to be sieged. Uh. Let's see how much damage they do. Notice that the enemy army can... If, if there's no marine buffer, like, this is gonna happen. Okay, the enemy tank is derping around a bit. Hey, but not bad, you held them off. Even though we lost the base in the process. Um. So the other thing about Terran, as you notice in this, in, this, in this very fight, is that you need to be in the right position. Your tanks need to be sieged. Because yeah. the amount of time it takes to unseize your tank and relocate it is kind of high. So that is an overview of Terran. We are at 3:14 p.m. Um, what do you want me to do? We could go for, we could try to go for a quick co-op game, although it will go over your time limit. We could explore more units, or we could explore more units of Terran, or we could look at the replay, because that's the amount of time we have left. Uh, we can do one co-op. Wait, why can't I target unit fully here? For what the SCV? Oh, that's a marine. I got confused, lol. <laughs> yeah. So the biological units can only be healed by the medevacs. Medevac is the only healing unit. For the bio, yes. Armed and ready. 
Okay, let's let's quit. Let's go to co-op real quick. Okay. Okay. Cause... Uh, how do I quit again? Oh, your menu. Oh, F10 is menu. Okay. Yep, F10. That's a red dust. Who cares about the score? We running out of time. Okay. Okay. Do you want to attempt to play the? Okay. So decision. Do you want to attempt to play the? The Terran Co-op Commander, or do you want to stick to Protoss? Because this determines the difficulty I choose. I would prefer trying something difficult though, so I guess we'll stick to Protoss. Okay, so click our Tannis. We're gonna go on hard. Tell you what, I'll oh. pick the I'll pick the Terran Commander, then you can have a feel of what he does. All right, all right, let's go. Cool. Okay, and the game will load. Yeah, so by the way, notice that if you pick like, I want to learn a new race, that will tend to take a little bit longer because you will immediately hit the same learning curve you had. Whereas if you yeah. pick Protoss again, it's more about building on that base. Foundations take longer to, longer to build. Bino and Artanis. Do you have all of the co-op um, heroes already? Oh, dude, for such a... Um, yes and no. I have about half of them. Like bot, right, you mean? Yeah, bought because when I purchased StarCraft 2 before it became free to play, it came with a group of commanders. Ah, yeah. It was like bonus content. Uh, two of them I then purchased later, and one of them I got for free during a free event. Oh. Protoss 2. Okay. Jinara with both armies push Amon's champions into the pit of Sakura. Push! Yes. I have to push? Yes! This is, okay. this is one of the more innovative. This is one of the more innovative co-op maps. What, Jinara. That's just her name. Okay, so. Human. No, it's not. It's Protoss. Okay, so here's the thing. There is a. F in the law of why we're doing this mission. Um, there were these. Protoss that were allied with the hybrid. Okay. But there was a schism. Basically, half of them said, no, screw the hybrids, we're not interested. And the loyalists said, no, we're staying with these hybrids. This is their sacrificial duel to determine who controls the Protoss army. Good luck, oh. and, uh, beat them, probably. <laughs> okay, so in about five seconds, she'll start talking. There we go. So if we look over here, I am first ascendant Janara, and I have been challenged to Rakshir by a faction of Taldarin who foolishly remain loyal to Amon. The Dark God bolsters their champion's strength. Send both of your armies to my side to bolster mine. I will emerge victorious. Oh uh, yeah, so Amon is the leader of the hybrids. So this is Janara, and this is. The enemy, for lack of a better words. Additional supply depots are required. So what we have to do is we have to push the ball from this side to the other side over here. Wow. Haha, <laughs> push. That's cute. Gas. Yeah, we literally have to push the ball. Minerals now. Okay. Get em. Not enough I hope you haven't forgotten your Protoss. Uh, I hope not too. Now you're doing fine, you're getting warp gates. <laughs> uh, yeah, um. Okay, so as you see on Your command center upgrade is as you see on the map, there are also uh, areas here and here. This is where we can take our secondary expansions, but that's later. We finished that SCV rating. Insufficient Vespine gas. Okay. Yes. So right now we're just like, I mean the technical term is back going up, which is to just build up our armies, build up our supply, build up our gas. Wait. Oh, in this Atanis can build them immediately, yep. like have them immediately while the timing is building. Yep. Ah, okay. I, I got so confused. Automated okay. warp cool. Yep, so the abilities you get in co-op are vastly different from 1v1 for balance reasons. Yeah. Here nobody cares about balance. 
So the other thing about Vader, okay, watch, watch this. Notice that when I make units, it it actually drops into wherever I tell them to via drop pod. Wow. That does similar to the drop, right? Yeah. But don't, but remember, this does not remotely happen in 1v1. Okay, so we need to attack. We need to attack right up very, 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 very soon. So first is to defend against this attack wave. Looks like our enemies. Thank you. Okay, then we need to attack here. I must cite the power from oh. your armies if I am to regain the ground I have lost. Go, 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 go. Destroy these enemies. So here's the thing the ball will only move if both our armies are here. Oh. So this level, for lack of a better word, requires slightly more cooperation. Now I, happen I to, now, I happen to know this map, so the more we push the ball, the more we run into enemy fortifications. Like these guys here. Don't worry, I'll be getting tanks later. Hey, help your friends. Okay, so... Oh, careful. You gotta be careful, you don't want to overcommit. Okay, very good call. Call in reinforcements. Oh god, I forgot how to call in reinforcements. W! Right, W. Okay, tell you what, let's clear out the bottom section here first. Like, we can leave the ball as it is. But if we clear out the bottom section down here, it allows me to take my next base. And now I'm going to do the same for you. We attack the top right section here. So we try and avoid these, like, cannons and stuff. Ready to attack here? Sega. Sure. Yeah, we try to avoid the cannons. Okay, never mind. We'll go to the center. Uh-oh. Oh, now it gets tricky. Well, you heard the lady. Let's go. Let's go kill them. What? Oh. Shoebox depot thingies needed. Don't worry about the attack wave, I'll deal with it. This is what we're fighting, by the way. Ready? Our SCBs are calling in the hot period. These hybrids are not pushovers, are they? They are not. Oh. Okay, in the meantime, an enemy attack is attacking your base, however, I'm doing what I can to defend it. Oh shit, are you serious? Yeah. What the hell? Don't worry, that's my ship. Yeah, basically, raiders, one of raiders special, like, you could... <coughs> uh, I'm sure you forgot, but you could call it laser strikes, remember? Right. So this is one of uh, raiders special abilities, where he calls it the Hyperion. Ah, yes, I remember that giant one. Yeah, is it that in Heroes of the Storm? Yep, it is, and it's very fun. Okay, so let's go clear out here, then you can take your next base. Alright, cool. By the way, the, the, the thing about, um, about Terran in, in 2v2 at Team Games, they can heal Zerg. They can heal up both Protoss and Zerg. I don't understand. Oh, the Medivacs. Correct. The Medivac can heal up the Zerg. The SCV can heal up the Dragoons. Wait, who is that? I see a healer. Oh, those are the Medics. They're ground it's Medics? Based. Yeah, they're in StarCraft 1, but they were never brought over to StarCraft 2. Oh. Namely because um, I actually had a, I actually watched an uh, interview by the developer. Because they had the medevac, they didn't bring over the medic. Because what was the point? Oh, of course there's a medic in uh, Heroes of the Storm as well. Lieutenant Morales? Yeah, Morales. Yes, 
She's the medic. And she is a humongous pain in the ass. To kill or to play or what? Kill. As in, her team is virtually unkillable when okay. she's around. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll, 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 I'll let you deal with the bonus. Then I'll, I can defend both bases. The bonus? Yep. Slay elemental. Yep. That's the one. I would strongly suggest you take this route. You go up okay. and then down. Because if you take, if you walk to it directly, you're going to walk into an enemy base. Yeah, I need to build that. Yep. Oh, I don't need a warp gate to build a nexus. That's good to know. Nope. <laughs> I would suggest you get... Never mind, go and deal with the bonus first. Wait, what path am I taking into there? No, it's oh, not. Keep going. Mind. Good call, good call. The elemental is here. Oh, these are friendly? Ah, that one's not. No, no, it's not. That's a good call. No, warp in more dragoons now. The ones that are in the, in the casing are dying. Is a casing? Yeah, notice that Wait, they're all what the hell? What is going on here? See, so oh, okay, the, they're free. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Oh, never mind. You could come back up. Wait a minute. Uh, tell you what. Let's do a pits. Wait, wait. Let's do a pits. Never mind. My reinforcements are on their way. My bad. No, let's go. Let's go. We can catch him in a pincer. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Okay, lucky we did that because just so happened when we just so happened as we did that the en the enemy the next enemy wave warped in. Yeah. So if it wasn't for that pincer movement, you might have been screwed. Oh yes. Okay, my resources are actually pre wank. I'm gonna. You haven't sent any probes over to this base, that's why. Yeah. Uh. Okay, I would recommend. Okay, don't worry. Uh, let's push the ball a little bit further, so that we have more space. Okay, after that, I would recommend you build either a Twilight Council or a robotics facility, which is V and then R or V and then C. Robotics facility. Yeah, Robo Bay. Also, send somebody over here. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, because at least if the ball is like halfway there, the enemy is gonna have a harder time pushing it into the, into the hole. So we have to push it all <laughs> the way to the end. That's the goal. Yes. I noticed that it's not that easy because... Here's a good example. Okay, we have to go and Boy. kill the hybrid. Here's the thing. When this happens, we cannot push the ball and the ball will be pushed into the into the enemy hole by itself. Oh. So we have to go and kill the hybrids. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Do you have, the, do you have that shield? Uh, my shield overcharge? Yeah. Yep. Because it cool down. Nope, it's it's available. Okay, once we once we engage the enemy, you press that button and then and then we fight. Got it? Okay. Okay. Suit, suit, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There they are, hit the button! Activating a Oh Push through, push through, push through, push through. Oh crap. Okay, head, head, head back, head back, head back. They're under attack. Thankfully, the Hyperion has teleported. So, okay, good call, good call. Kill them before they push the ball into. Phew. Okay, we stopped them. I mean, she wasn't joking. All was nearly lost. Yeah, they were so close. Oh my god. Again, the difference between playing on hard and normal is quite jarring. Uh, wait, what, what the hell? TTs. So Somebody blew up. There. Yep. Okay, the enemy run by actually destroyed my second base. Yeah. They're not messing around, you know. Unacceptable build location.
Uh, did you get the robot or the Twilight Council? Oh shit, no, not yet. Do get them. Okay, the Twilight uh... Council... The Twilight Council gives you like really, really important upgrades for your... For your... For your units. The robot bay allows you to get higher tech stuff. Tell you what, you stay here and defend the ball. I'm gonna deal with the enemy attack wave. Okay. In the meantime, the robo bay. And take your gases. Bastards have say I'm storm. Eh? To be fair, this is one of the harder co-op maps. This? Oh. Yeah, because they will attack your base and they will attack the ball at the same time. The enemy too does will coordinate their attacks. Okay, did you get the Twilight Council? Okay, uh, I got the Robo Bay. Okay, fine. Click the Robotics Bay. Uh, what do you see? Yeah. Uh, Whopping Immortal or Observer? Build both. Build How both. How do I make the giant laser <laughs> scarab thing? Uh, it's currently locked, right? What do you mean? Oh wait, is it locked or is it, uh, like in a shadow? Is it called a river? Yeah. Yeah, it's locked. Oh, as it there's a big like lock icon over it or yep. or locked icon. Okay, so you have to level up your commander to to get that guy. Yeah, level 5, actually. Okay, so we're not too far off. You're currently on level 2. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bastards have psionic storm. Tell you what, pull back. Let my siege tanks do their job. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna come by the ball, I'm gonna siege up. Then we push. So when the enemy attacks, counter attacks into us, we're, we're fighting in tank rage. There you go. Exterminate that pest before it does. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. We're breaking through their defenses. The siege tanks are holding strong. Uh, uh, you're, ma you're making immortals, right? Yep, they're at my base, I think. Okay. I think. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're making Okay, it. then they'll, they'll join us on the front line shortly. It's an immortal? Doesn't Enemy look very immortal detected. to me. Oh crap, he's stuck! Yep, he's stuck! Oh no! You could blow up the pylon. Oh god. Blow up the pylon and get him out. How do I blow up the pylon? Um, attack move. Attack move and then fire on the pylon. Okay, I need to retreat. Oh. Attack moves are heading towards our bases right now. Oh shit. <coughs> uh, screw this. Retreat. We need to take care of these attack waves. If not, they'll destroy our production. Okay, uh... Call it, uh, call it laser artillery! Hey! Top, top, your, your top panel! So it's in on where, uh, on what? Here! Up here, shoot him! Oh shit, uh, control X. Yes! Oh, I just realized I lost my entire, um, dragon squad. Make more! By the way, I think you've lost... I, You can make more probes, right? Yep. I lost some probes. Your base looks very empty, leh. Like, like your main base, you can make more probes and rally them here, right? Uh, I'm just going to build... Uh. Okay, we're running out of time, both, both in-game and in life. Uh, we need to start pushing towards this objective soon. How long more until you're ready to push this objective? Uh, um... Oh, I can make a robotics bay. Yeah, no, that... No, I need it. Yeah, okay. no, 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 don't make that because you... you because the tech is, is locked at the moment. Oh shit, okay. Get the Twilight Council if you need to. Make more dracoons. Make more probes. Get the other guests over here. 
No, I'm just looking at your main base, like, you could definitely put more probes on your main base, right? More probes? My main base? Oh shit, why is there only 8? What the hell? I don't know. Okay, uh, what shall we do now? Where's uh, my Dragoon squad? Okay. Uh, Why is okay. there this wind coming? The enemy's here! Oh shit! See, this is this is what Protoss does against Terran in like 1v1. They have those psionic storms and the bio just dies. What? Okay. Okay, okay. Is, um, is your shield ready? Yep. Hit the shield! Enough charge. All right. <laughs> nice. Okay, good, 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 good. This is good. Okay, push the ball, push the ball. We lost a lot of ground to them. The ball lost a lot of ground earlier. Oh my gosh, yeah. What do the immortals do? Uh, they do. They have, they have very very high uh, single target damage against armor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So push the ball. Push the ball. Enemy attack wave over here. Okay. Never mind. I dealt with it, but my army is pretty wounded. Did you do? Did you get the Twilight Council by any chance? Uh. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Where is it? Okay. Never mind. Click the Twilight Council. Okay. It's over here. Good. Um, just buy all the upgrades. Okay. We got some visitors heading for our base. They don't look crap, too crap, 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 crap. Okay, never mind. Uh, fold your army back and attack. Uh, defend your side. Defend roughly over oh. here. That's where the enemy eh? will be. Okay. Help your friends. I'm, I'm gonna defend on my side. Are you defending okay? Do you need help? Uh, why is my unit not moving? I don't know what did you press. You press the wrong button. I can't call in all dragoons in map. Uh. I have to like manually select them. What do you mean? I I I want to see what where are all the dragoons on my map. Uh, F two. Uh. That's all units. Uh. Okay, if you go to F two and then you click click the one, two, and three. You can then see all the Dragoons. If you click control and then you click them, you only click the Dragoons. Oh, okay, okay. In the meantime, please come here and push the ball because... I mean... You notice that in terms of the game, we're only halfway done? Yeah. There's still halfway to go. Did you buy all the upgrades, by the way? Actually, do you know what? I, I, I did buy the Zealot one. I'm not using Zealots. I would actually suggest you buy Zealots because they help you tag for the Dragoons. Is it? Yes. Trust me, we'll oh, be okay. a bunch of zealots. Okay, here's the other thing. The zealots are melee, so the zealots attack the, the enemy using melee, your dragoons fire from the back. That's a lot more damage. I see. Ah, here's the here's the boss wave. We have to not only fight whatever defenses are in our way, but destroy the hybrids that are hiding behind. Just push through, just push through. Fire, more pylons, additional pylons. Okay, it's getting stressful. The ball is moving very, very fast, relatively speaking. Sorry, my guys are just here. Uh, okay, here's what I suggest. Uh, warp in another round of units, and then you take the top path, I'll take the bottom. Then we can try like... That's like... the top path? This one? Uh? Yeah! Damn it, wasn't oh. better. Yeah, push through the top path here, I'll push through the bottom. No, 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 it's, it's here, it's here. You're, you're pushing it to the enemy base. What? Down here, down here. Oh! Okay. Yeah, down here and then up here. 
Okay, then by the group, you yeah, hit up. Because if you go up the same ramp, there's not going to be enough space. Where the heck is the ball? Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hurry up, okay, attack now. Attack, 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 attack. The ball is like 30 seconds of going to the in, into the goalpost. Going in, going in, going in. Use the over use the shield overcharge. Use it, use it, use it. Activating shields. Kaboom, baby. No, 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 no. A little bit fusion. No, kill this hybrid, kill this hybrid. No! no! This cannot be. I have the there was still one, uh. Yeah, there I was one more hybrid. One oh, there was one more. Yeah. Damn. Unfortunate. Well, that was fun. Oh, I didn't know. I thought I thought there was only one there. No, the, 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 there's always a group of hybrids. Oh, but you have to shit. kill every single one. Damn. <coughs> okay, well, that was interesting. I like this one. I like this one. This one was fun. I think I like the train one once we start playing on like the harder difficulties. Serious, uh, the train one? Yep. Oh, dear. Oh, I thought you were leveled up, but not yet. Yeah, so Very if you, close. If Wait, you what's go the next to your, level? Yeah, you... Superior warp gates. Oh my god, one to three. Yep, so it stores three charges. Once you get to level four, you will unlock additional uh, upgrades. Once you reach five, you get the reverse, so on and so forth. Oh, you only get the Tempest at 11. Ah. Oh, that's a pity. Nah, but that was a taste of, of co-op and... I, I didn't pick the strongest, like, most OP commander, but at the same time, I... Like, that's realistically what you'll get if, if you play co-op, you know? I see, I see. That was enjoyable. I like that. Yeah, that was that was so close. Like, we, if we had killed that last hybrid, the ball would have stopped moving. It would have been right on the edge, but we still had a chance to, like, bring it back. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, we'll probably do this, like, sometime next week. Then we can continue. We could do the same thing, or we could do like a bit of either Protoss or Terran, and then we could end it with a co-op game. Sure, sure. Now that you know the fundamentals of- Probably next Sat. But next Saturday is uh, Michelle's birthday, so I may not be able to commit Ooh, that much time. Sunday, enough. I'm not too sure. We'll, I'll we'll, see. We'll, I can commit a little bit of time. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Again, next week, we should end earlier. Again, I'm sorry for going over time. Because now you have the fundamentals of Terran, you can actually- start playing the Terran games. Yeah, or at least fight against Terran. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to end the stream now. For those, for if anyone was watching, I hope that you enjoyed this little experience. And...